Listen up, you North Pole newbies. This is your orientation. The clock is ticking, and we don't have much time, so pick up those pointy ears and listen up! I am Inspector Brumbley, elf number 4825. And I've done this orientation for over a thousand years. So if I seem a little burnt out, it's not your imagination. Over to you, Elfiekins. He really does, doesn't he? Sorry, as he says, I'm Elfkins. Elf number 83,204. The number one rule here at Santa's workshop is if the fat man's on the floor, look busy. Everything after that is easy. As you can see, we're in the main room where all the magic happens. <laughs> Make sure that if you're using the conveyor belt, you don't have jingle bell sleeves. Last year, Happy the Elf lost an arm. He's not so happy anymore. Speaking of happy. Hello, Happy here. Over there, behind you are the stables. The reindeer might fly, but their poop falls to the ground just like everybody else's. So you'll all be on nugget cleaning duty for the first few weeks. And if Sneaky the Elf offers you stable fudge, do yourselves a favour, say no. All right then, some uh, little basic tips. Uh, not few much really, common sense. Uh, number one, uh, don't stare at Rudolph's nose, uh, he hates that. He's red, get over it. Um, number two, if you see a disorientated talking snowman that says happy birthday, don't worry about it, he's senile but harmless, just uh, move along, leave him be. Um, and number three, if you hear any rumours about uh, Mrs Claus and the Easter Bunny, don't pay any mind to them, and especially, don't mention those to Santa Claus, and especially, don't mention to them after he's had two or three glasses of eggnog. I, uh, I know that one from experience. Right, elves, that's just about it. Let's get to work! <laughs> <laughs>